Welcome to the Toyota Football for Tomorrow training tips. Let's get started. Toyota Football for Tomorrow empowers youth with skills in football and beyond to enjoy the thrill and joy of moving together and to believe in the possibilities of tomorrow. This is inspired by Toyota's vision to provide the freedom of mobility to all. This video series will feature renowned coaches and former Japanese national football players from Nagoya Grampus, a football club founded by Toyota back in 1939 and is now one of the top J-League football clubs in Japan. Over the years, Toyota has worked with Nagoya Grampus to conduct youth football clinics in Southeast Asia and looks forward to spreading the joy of football through these virtual football lessons. By bringing the program online, we hope to bring the thrill and joy from the stadiums to our homes. Hello, my name is Motohiro Yamaguchi. I supervise the football operations for Nagoya Grampus Football Club. Today, I will be showing you a few training methods on how to move and use your body effectively. Football involves many different types of movement. I will be discussing how to make these movements more fluid and showing you some key training methods. Today, we will be focusing on reacting to the opponent's movement swiftly. With that said, let's start the training. Hello everyone! I am Kotaro Yagishita, the physical coach for the academy. Today's training exercise will focus on defending. The first drill will cover how to react to your opponent's movements. In this drill, the defender should stand 2 meters off in front of the offensive player. The key is to pay attention to the opponent's movements and follow their rhythm and timing. Make sure your stomach is facing the opponents at all times. Next, I will be demonstrating footwork drills for defending moving backwards. I will be demonstrating three different drills. Quickly and smoothly step over the three markers. Turn quickly and run backwards at a 45 degree angle, making sure your body turns smoothly. Likewise, do the same motion. Stepping over the markers and then turning quickly to run straight backwards at 90 degrees. Finally, sprint forward as if you are approaching the ball directly. Quickly adjust your feet, turn, then run diagonally at a 45 degree angle. The key is to take the shortest and fastest way towards the markers. Concentrate on the direction your feet are facing when stepping and turning. Try adjusting the angle of your feet to help you change the direction more efficiently. Making use of the previous training, the next exercise will focus on staying with your mark. Both the attacker and defender will step over the three markers and then run toward the center markers. When the defender arrives, the attacker will sprint to either the right or left cone. The defender has to watch the attacker's movements and sprint together to the cone. If the defender can touch the cone before or at the same time as the attacker, the defense wins. The key is to observe the opponent's movements and be prepared to move in either direction. Watch their movements and step quickly to stay with them. The last drill will be making contact with the opponent when trying to steal the ball. The key is to wait for the moment when the ball is farthest from the opponent's feet. Then, step into the opponent forcefully with your hip to steal the ball. 
In order to improve your ball handling skills, it is important to learn how to use your body effectively. Keep practicing until you get the hang of it.